Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use post revisions in your WordPress powered site and also how and when you might want to turn those off. I'm going to start by showing you post revisions and how to use them. These are essentially how you can undo changes you've made to a post by accident or on purpose or if perhaps another user has made those changes and you want to revert back to an older version of a post. So I'm just going to head to posts and um, head down to just one of these posts here. So you're going to click on one of these and um, we're going to see we've got the standard title, content, we've got some images, um, this is just some dummy content really. At the bottom of the uh, post editor screen, I'm going to see I've got this section here, revisions. And this is where we can access the previous versions of the post. You're going to see on the left hand side, you've got the author as well as their gravatar the last time it was edited, and then you've got a link to click to see what revisions were made in that previous version. So if I wanted to look at the uh, last edit, which was made three minutes ago, I can just click on the date there. And we're gonna see on the right hand side is the latest version of the post. And on the left hand side in HTML view, we've got um, the previous edit of the post. We can see the difference between these two is that the short code has been removed. And if we scroll down, we've also got an image has been added in. And we can see the different colored highlights that are used to denote what's been removed. So that's in red and what's been added in here. To restore a post revision, all you need to do is grab this slider at the top and drag to a version you want to restore to. So dragging this all the way along, is gonna allow you to access all of the post revisions that have been made. So this is the most recent revision. Um, this is the one that we were looking at that was originally on the left-hand side. We can see we have the shortcode added in. And in fact, in this revision, this image was added in, which is why that is highlighted there. We can also see that we have not got the uh, image at the bottom as well, because that was in the most recent edit. If I wanted to go back any further, I just need to drag and we can see the other changes that have been made there. And now we're at the original post here. So to restore this most recent version, I just need to select that there and then press restore this version. WordPress is now going to restore the post to a previous date. And we can see that we've got that short code added back in. And we've lost that second image. I'm now able to update again. And if we have a look at our revisions, then we're gonna see that um, we've now got a new entry here with the uh, new edit that we've just added in. So using those is very simple. You just need to click on the date you wish to revert to and then you can uh, restore posts. And it's a great way of uh, seeing what changes have been made. Perhaps if you're using a third party editor or a different contributor to your site is doing the editing, you can see what changes have been made. And also you can restore any accidental changes you might have made to your site. However, post revisions in WordPress have been getting a bad press because they have been known to slow sites down and create performance issues for them. In order to make your site as powerful and as fast as possible, you might want to disable post revisions. Now to do this, you're going to need to edit the WP config file in the root of your WordPress installation, which is gonna require FTP access, although your host might have an online FTP editor that won't require any additional programs. So you wanna load up wpconfig.php, um, and then you need to add a couple of lines to that. Here you can see that I'm logged in via FTP to my WordPress installation, and um, I just need to select wp-config.php here. I'm just gonna right click on that and then press view slash edit, and um, I'm gonna download the latest version of that file. So I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom of this file and hit return, and I'm gonna paste in this first line of code that I'm going to show you, and you might want to pause this in order to copy that across. Now what this is going to do is tell WordPress to only keep three post revisions at any one time. Um, so if you get to the fourth, it's going to delete the oldest one of that. You might want to do that if you're creating a lot of post revisions, but you want to keep the size of your WordPress database smaller, and thus you're gonna make it faster. So it's going to only going to keep three post revisions, which is going to um, cut down on the size of your WordPress database, because it's not having to store all of your post revisions. So that's your first option. Your second one is to disable WordPress post revisions entirely. Now to do that, you're going to need to delete that line, obviously, um, and we're gonna paste in the new one. And again, you might want to pause this in order to copy that across. 
Um, so this just tells WordPress to disable WordPress post revisions completely. And this is going to save on the database file sizes and have those performance related improvements that I mentioned earlier. You're going to want to save those changes and then re-upload that file back to your server. We can see here I'm being prompted to re-upload that and now that it's done. Now if I head over back to my site and hit refresh, then we're going to find that we haven't got any post revisions at the bottom of this post here. And so we've disabled post revisions and we're going to get those performance related improvements. So that's all there is to it with post revisions. You're going to find those options at the bottom of your posts and if you can't find them you might want to just go to screen options, click that drop down and then select revisions there. You're going to be able to revert to previous versions of your post as well as see the changes that have been made and what changes have been made by which authors. However, post revisions do cause some performance related issues with sites. So if you want to disable them, then you're going to have to follow those steps that I mentioned earlier using the wp-config file that you're going to find in the root of your WordPress installation. I hope this video has been helpful and thank you very much for watching.